I'm going to show you how to make a custom silk screen using Jetta PCB Editor. So you, you do need an extra program in order to do this, it doesn't do it normally. So if you just go on to Google and type in PS to edit, which is a file converter that will convert a postscript type vector graphics image file into the PCB format. So just click on the uh, download there. And I'll just open it up and I'll show you there's a folder close that one. There's a folder inside which get details the instructions for installation. Sorry, a file I should say, called readme.install. And if you just go through here you can follow the installation instructions and work out how to get it on your system. Okay, so I'll assume you've got that done. And I'll also assume that you have your own project. So I've got this test folder in the middle here. And I've got an existing PCB project called Untitled. And this is the project that I want to add the custom silkscreen image to. So it's got a few silkscreen bits on that with the components already. I've got a space up in the corner here where I want to add a custom image. Just close that down and search for a generic image on the uh, on the internet. Just search for an OM symbol on Wiki. And there's uh, lots of good images on Wiki that are um, that are in the public domain and of the SVG file type, which is perfect for what we're doing. So I'm just going to save this to the desktop for now. and I'm going to need to open it in an editor so I can change it to the right file type and change the color etc. So I've just got Inkscape Vector Graphics Editor is the program I'm using. Okay. So I'm going to need to change the color and shrink it down massively in order for it to fit on the board properly. So just make it black. And initially I'm just going to change the size of the background. Actually just show you these nodes here. So there are curves between these nodes on this vector image. Um, when you convert that using the PS to edit it won't um it won't include those curves. So you're gonna to have to add more nodes if you want to keep the shape. Um, I'm just gonna go to millimeters. And just to change the size of the, of the background here to 12 millimeters or something, just make it square. So I know that it's going to be a reasonable size. You can always go into PCB Editor and use a tool to measure the size of the space that you've got on the board so you know exactly how big you need it to be. I'm just going to do it roughly. Shrink it down, make sure it'll fit in here. Also, if you if you've got more time, you can instead of having quite a simplified um, vectors like this, you can increase the, the quantity of nodes, and you can keep that smooth shape. Like I said, I'm just going to resize it to the background, so it's as small as possible. Okay, that's good. So I just need to save it now as the right file type. So we just I'm going to call it Omri size and make sure I've got a postscript selected and I'm going to save it in the folder with the rest of the stuff on the desktop and I just make sure if you've got any text make sure you convert all texts to paths before you press OK and there we go I've got the file there and I'm just going to open a terminal and just type in ps to edit to use the program to convert the file. You need to type in minus f and define the file type as PCB and just drag and drop it the file in there for the source file and drag and drop it again. The destination file just change the extension to PCB. And just press enter. 
and does it converts it pretty quickly. So we've got this on resize.pcb. It's going to open it up, make sure everything's okay. So it's in the corner there. So just select all visible objects, and if you move it up to a sensible position, so when you uh, copy it over, it appears somewhere actually on the board. Zoom in a bit. So you're just going to make sure everything's all in the same layer as well. I've got everything on poly here, it's all the same color. So if not, you can just move that over. And just save that, that should be fine. And to copy it over to the silkscreen layer, I'm just going to open it in text editor. And I'm actually just going to copy the section that's in the poly layer and copy it directly and paste it to the other file just because um, PCB doesn't seem to like polygons on the silkscreen layer so if we just copy it from here directly then you can open up your current file that you're working on in text editor and I'm already on the right layer there, you can see what the signal layers there and uh, silk screen layer here, so just paste it into this layer there we go, so there's our polygons copied over from the other file, save it and now when you open it there we go it's con it contains the, uh, the converted vector image. Let's move that over into the corner there. So there you go. And you see that's all on the, the same layer as the silk screen. I'm just going to export it uh, as an image PNG and just increase the DPI there. Put the alpha on for the transparent background. And then there's this photo mode, which when I press OK, um, it will convert it into a kind of mock-up of the PCB. So we just close that down, and there it is in our folder. And there's our custom silk screen image.